folks, we are here with Wayne, who's not a homeless person now, but you used to be a homeless. Many years ago. And now you, you've got a place to stay. Yeah. And you sell the big issue. What is, uh, what is a big issue for people who don't I, know? I would explain. The big issue is a magazine to help the homeless, to actually to help themselves. It's a magazine, a way of uh, basically people to earn money, to pay their way and, support, and to support themselves. Uh, you've been selling that home, big issue for how long? 11 years. 11 years. And I've seen a lot of differences since I started. Because when I first started, there was literally, it was, it would be, it was proper for people to buy. Nowadays, since COVID and lockdown, there's been a lot of, di lot of down, it's been the sales and the, basically the pop popularity of the big issue has dropped. It's dropped? Yeah. Because nowadays people are barely, very rarely buying the magazine now. But it was a bit too much for him, but it weren't for me, I just, I just dealt, dealt with them, you know. Right. But I'm a street person, so I'm rough, I'm ready for it, you know. Yeah, he's actually at the bathroom at the moment because he's had a form of a breakdown. But yeah, I've ended up in, in London. Alcoholism, my parents were drinkers themselves. But... West Africa. Tongo. Yeah, Tongo. Yeah, to exactly. yes. The system's broken. I pay tax all my life in the UK, yeah? Born in the UK. I ran an events company. Big company. Because it's basically the big issue was established in 1991. And it was aim, it, its aim was to help people that are on the streets to help themselves to be get like pay, pay for proper, like places to live, feed themselves, clothe themselves, and literally earn a living mm -hmm. and being self-employed. So, did you start selling big issue when you were a homeless person? I I was at the time I was literally sofa surfing at the time. Sofa surfing. Yeah, meaning I was sleeping here, there, and everywhere. I was like spending time on the streets, off the streets, pit, here, there, wherever I could. And I was begging at the time to earn money because what it was, I didn't basically know. I didn't, at the time, I didn't know about the big issue. It took a vendor that saw me one day that I used to give money to every day. Every time I used to see him, when I used to go shopping, I used to see him, I used to go, there you go, man, it's a couple of quid, get yourself something to eat. Don't worry about the mag because he used to try and sell it to me. He saw me one day begging and it took him seeing me and he said to my friend what are you doing i went trying to get some money to get something to eat he goes my friend do what i do and he he helped me All and right. i still i'm still grateful for the, to this day that this and you've guy, been selling that issue for 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 11 years now 11 years now yeah and it, the magazine comes out weekly it comes out it comes out on a monday through till sunday it's a different magazine every week that comes out mm -hmm. and it's always different basically covers and different articles that basically on the, in the magazine. How much does it cost? Now now it costs four pounds. It's four pounds? Yeah. That, that's that's a lot of money. When I, I first when I first started for a newspaper. As I say, when I first started it was literally two pounds for the customers to buy. And then they put it up to two fifty within a few within a few months of me starting it went up to two pound fifty, which was a reasonable price. Because it because of the cost of inflation and stuff as uh, cost of them printing and publishing, it costs them a bit of money to actually. Can, can you show the big issue to the camera, please? Yeah. So this is the big issue. And as I was saying, and at the time it was two fifty. It went up to two fifty. Fair and that. Then COVID. It was two fifty for quite a while. And then COVID happened. When COVID happened and the lockdowns happened, the magazine went up after lockdown to three pound and then it's recent only this year from january like this month that it's gone up to four pound for customers to buy because it's the cost of everything of everything going up in the world basically oh, cost of, everything's gone up in price okay it costs more and how it works with the big issue we pay we pay buy the magazines to sell them so we buy it paying for half the price and sell them for the for the price on the mag. Oh, I see. So that, how it works, we us all us vendors, we make money by selling the mag, 
So we, uh, we buy, make our money back we spent on the mag plus the other half in profit because mm -hmm. it's because like, of the what the price is. So we buy it for we buy it for what basically two pound. We sell it for four, so we're making our two pound back plus two pound profit on every magazine we sell. And with that, we 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 are we us vendors are able to basically support ourselves, to feed ourselves, clothe ourselves, and basically if we have, if if we've got a place to live, to pay the pay the bills for the place where we live in. It's it's basically being self-employed, and your it's and its aim is to help us to help ourselves, giving us that step mm -hmm. on the ladder to help ourselves to make money. It did help you in your it, case because no, you, you've been it, like so fast, so fast surfing, and then you started to sell the issue, big issue, and you began uh, you ran the uh, flood. Did, did, yeah, didn't and you? that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. It, it, I'm not the only one. It's helped many people. Because I'm I'm just one one of many that do the big issue. There's mm -hmm. literally you you'd find if you go anywhere else, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of vendors everywhere, and a lot of vendors will say the same thing. It's their aim is to help, mm -hmm. to help them help, help like for a way of them us helping ourselves to actually be like how can I exp how can I explain the word help us basically to not to rely on others but to help that we we can actually help ourselves yeah and it's way it's a way of us working and actually doing the job but being self-employed and actually being able to basically support ourselves. And that's and that's the way, and I am grateful for the big issue, for the way, way basically, it what what it's about. But and I'm grateful in a way as well from the vendor that helped me to get me get me started on it. He's the one who recommended me, said to me that come and do what I do, and still to this day I'm grateful for him to actually he actually what he done because if it weren't for him, if it weren't for him. I could have basically probably turned to like to the life of crime, done a bit of, like basically been in trouble with the law. But I, it, with what he done, but helping me to recommend the big issue to do what he done, he's then put me on a way of me being on the straight and narrow to help myself, right? To basically make make a living, support myself, and pay 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 my way. All right, way. So you being on the streets for so long. Do you see the problem of homelessness rising in the UK? Or? Yeah, there's basically, I can tell you now, it's not just the UK, it's worldwide. There's a lot of homeless problems worldwide. Not just in England, it's basically in other countries as well. The homeless problems, it's basically, is a big problem for, every, for many countries. Okay. There's a lot of places that... It's more than it used to be, I used, I was yeah. just saying. Because it's doubt, the reason why I'm going to say, I'm going to say this as well, the reason why, is because there's not is because of covid because covid caused a lot of problems for a lot of people and a lot of people suffered with it well i've heard that covid helped a lot of homeless people because they've no, been no, sheltered for no, that that's what i'm saying they helped people they got people off the streets temporarily but i'm saying covid in general caused a lot of people to actually then become homeless mm -hmm. because they've lost jobs been made redundant because of basically covid and the business said the sh businesses shutting down and people losing their jobs because of covid and and the lockdowns because it's just because of the cost mm -hmm. of it all has basically sent the country sent the countries into a basically crumbling yeah. worldwide yeah, economical crisis all over the place I yeah so you understand what i'm saying it's literally not just england it's basically covid has caused a lot of problems worldwide in because it was a virus, basically a really nasty virus that literally brought the country to its knees. It literally, the country was, all countries were on the brink of being brought to their knees and actually not actually surviving. I, and that's you, you could go down any local high street and you'll find a lot of businesses that used to be there are not there now because they've had, they've had to shut down because the cost of it. And now, now, now we're all, everyone's suffering with the cost of living. Because the cost of living is literally making it even worse now. The cost of things, people can't afford things as like they used to. Because mm -hmm. like, as, as I can say now, that's why, like even with the big issue now, not many people buy it because many people can't afford money to buy anything anymore. They're just scraping by themselves. Yeah. So are you seeing a lot of uh, like sub substances on the on the streets like drug abuse or anything like that there's a lot of that everywhere you basically i can tell you this now there's a lot of that everywhere no matter where you go 
There's a lot of people basically that people drink, take drugs, but I never judge anyone. It's that if they, if they it's down that that's what they chose to do. It's what they and it's their, that's that that's their their thing. I don't I don't pry into people's things of that. It's, they could have many reasons why they do it. So it's it's with that with that it's up to them why they do it and, it, and everything else. But I can tell you now, there's a lot of basically drink drugs. Where you go, no matter what country you're in, there's always basically problem with drugs. Yeah. Because you've got a lot of gangs basically uh, basically entice people with drugs and stuff like that. So I hear there is a lot of spies that somebody told me. Yeah, and basically a lot of that's laced with stuff and can literally make, make basically either basically cause you problems or basically get and be very addictive. So and like I said, and there's a lot of gangs and stuff. And what I, the other thing as well, I I'm gonna I'm gonna say one other thing. Literally, the, the, the other thing as well, what's causing problems for the cost of living, is the war in Ukraine to do with Putin being a warmonger. And that is the, all he is. He just wants power, 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 and that's what the problem is. Because he did, he didn't like it that Ukraine was wanting to be independent. He didn't like it because he weren't in power. He couldn't control, and he's basically caused more of the basically for other countries to suffer as well because of the, because where. The oil and stuff and fuel and that comes from Russia and, and everything else. So he's basically it's cost, co, 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 causing more problems for the the Western countries to suffer more uh, the, with the cost of stuff because now literally they can't survive. People that's why the cost of living is going sky high, sky high. It costs more now to basically to shop, feed yourself, and everything else. Right, Wayne. What what, what would you like to say? What else would you like to say? What else would I like to say? Basically, it, the government needs to wake up. To, uh, literally, the governments worldwide need to wake up and realise there's a lot of problems in the country, in their own country, before they choose to choose to help anyone else in other countries. The government needs to help the, the help the like people, like like even like the UK government. They need to realise, and the UK government need to realise before before they send like money to like other countries that are basically suffering they need to basically focus on helping the c people in their own co in the country as well first as well as the other country they need to make sure councils have enough enough funding nhs has enough enough funding all and stuff like that and literally the, and the government need to realize they need to go back to the negotiation tables with all the unions that with all the stuff that's with all the unions that are striking and negotiate the better the a better pay, especially for the nurses and the ambulance drivers, because they literally are on the front line. The nurses, especially, especially they've been on the front line all the way through COVID, fighting, helping to fight the disease and helping patients. And they're literally the ones that are now so having to suffer because they literally don't have enough. They're not. They're being paid not enough. The government need to really go back and focus and sit down with the with the nurses union and actually discuss the pay rise that they want and give them the pay rise they want because they deserve the pay rise but is there anything about homeless people uh, you've noticed but around that's here? what i said i've not i can tell you a lot about the homeless people there's a lot of the homeless people are basically are, are homeless because they choose to be homeless a lot of people that rather choose to be on the street than be in a flat because it's something i could exp i don't know how to explain it. it's it's the something men mentally that they think being in a the flat, they're enclosed and they don't like it. They like being out. Because a lot of people, homeless people I know, have told me they've had many many times offered a flat to live, but they would choose to be on the street because they've been on the street so many years and they like the freedom of being out. Because we're being and some, they, they can get some money by begging on streets. Yeah, no, I'm the same. But I'm on about in general. There's a lot of homeless people who rather choose to live on the street when they could actually live in a place, but they choose to live on the street because knowing that. They basically they that they literally they're, they're free, and they don't they don't like to be enclosed. I've spoken to a many I've spoken to a homeless person before, and he told me he got given a flat. Within within six months of him having the flat, he then decided to give it up, and chose to go back to the streets because he didn't like it. He he felt like he was a prisoner because where he was used to being out on the street. 
and he chooses and he told me in his own words he goes i choose to be back on the streets because i get i've got my freedom and the freedom i know exactly where i i out in the open i know what where i am but being indoors it's i i could not sleep in a bed i could not think he goes i didn't feel like like i basically belong he goes right. he said where he said he being on the streets he felt like he belonged and he was literally living on the he, he lived so on the streets dude, the, the contact with the society rather than being closed in, in four and walls that's what i'm saying and there's basically there needs to be more support for people that literally with mental health that basically the reason of that are on the streets there's a lot of people that are right. on the streets Wayne you're working with the big issue and around homeless people for so long could you give an advice to homeless people what help they can get out there basically I what my advice is if you basically if you're if you've got suffering with mental health go and seek the help because there's a lot of help out there to help there's a lot of help with people that could actually that actually would listen and literally listen to what you what problems you have But there's a lot of people that chooses not to because they don't know that there's help. But that's why my advice is people that need help and you're basically seeking help, go and speak to the local authorities and they would literally would put you in touch with the right people to basically that can help you. Is that big issue one of the, one of the places? The big issue the big issue is a, is, a, is an organization to basically to help to help yourself to earn money. But there's actually the big issue foundation There's actually there's two parts of the big issue. There's big issue the magazine and there's big issue the foundation. You can't get in, you can even get in contact with the big issue foundation. They can help you to put you into hostels and get you the help and support that you need. Mm -hmm. Right away. Thanks a lot for the interview. All the best for you and I see you around my friend. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot all, my friend. Say, all money's all money's greatly received.